Hello everybody, I'm Alessandra and just to introduce myself, I've been working with petrophysical and special petrophysical analysis and also with EOR experiments since I started to work at Cepetro in 2012. Today, I will talk about laboratory special core analysis in a carbonate reservoir. And these results are involved in the conceptual geological model project that has been developed by the Geological Modeling of Reservoir Research Group from, C from Cepetro. This work is being developed by me as a main research, by my colleague Shori, and with the supervision of Professor Vidal. So, do you know that reservoir description techniques is one of the most crucial challenges in geology and reservoir engineering? That is still a challenge today, especially because the traditional rock type classification describe pore structures but not quantify the pore system for correlations with the physical properties of the rocks. So, this work aims to characterize rock samples from a Brazilian pre-salt reservoir regarding basic but also special petrophysical properties of the rocks to them correlate and use these results in the rock type characterization of the reservoir. For that, it was planned this workflow that starts with the samples 100% saturated with formation water. The next step is the forced drainage followed by the aging process. The aging process um, we will submit the samples or we will, can obtain the samples at the same wettability condition as we have in, this, in the reservoir with this process. The next steps are spontaneous imbibitions followed by forced imbibition, spontaneous drainage and forced drainage. All these steps will be tracked by NMR measurements of the T2 and uh, also by the diffusion measurements. While the T2 distribution shows the pore size distribution, the diffusion measurements allows us to observe the separation of oil and water inside the porous media, and it will be especially important during the aging process. Other measurements that we will perform are resistivity and capillary pre pressure. The resistivity measurements are an important tool to evaluate the formation production and can give us information about the grain, si uh, grain type and size, connectivity, isolated pores, and even about the fluid rock interaction as wettability, according to earth parameters. Uh, however, the capillary pressure curves will be obtained by forced drainage and imbibition process that will perf be performed at the high speed centrifuge and with the capillary pressure curves, it's also possible to obtain the relat relative permeability curves using a correlation. Just to put all of us in the same page, we are in the beginning of the experimental campaign and uh, I will show you in the next slides the first results of this work. These are the results of basic petrophysical analysis. The permeability results shows values between 3 and uh, 3 millidarses until uh, 1 darcy. And, uh, however, the, the, petrophy, the porosity results uh, show values between 12 and 20 percent. When we plot this data on the correlation graph, it's possible to confirm the permeability variation results in a low, low correlation with porosity. These are the results from resistivity measurements of 6 from 12 samples. This graphic shows the log-log plot of the formation factor versus porosity from the resistivity measurements. For this plot, we can obtain the cementation factor, that is the aim factor. Um, this value is obtained as the slope coefficient of the line connection 
connection of the data to the bu uh, bulk fluid values. For carbonate rocks, generally uh, present uh, values close to 2, and the value obtained for these rocks uh, was 2.1. These are the results from NMR analysis. The first graphic showed the T2 distribution for water and oil and can be seen and it can be seen in dot gray line while, uh, uh, while the results for the four samples evaluated until now are shown in uh, red and blue colors in the first graphic. The NMR is, this result uh, show that the samples reflect multimodal nature of micro, micro and mesopores. Kai et al. proposed a classification which allows to evaluate the pore uh, size from the two measurements and according to, to this classification, when relaxation time is less than 10 milliseconds, we have the micropores. Then, when the T2 range between 10 and 100 uh, milliseconds, we have the mesopores. And when it is greater than 100 milliseconds, we have the macropores. According to this class classification, the samples present a low concentration of micropores that can be seen in the second graphic, and the samples are most composed by macropores. So, these are, are the results that we have until now, and the further steps of these works are to start the drainage tests, of course, 100% saturated, to reach the SWI condition with reservoir oil. A uh, rock centrifuge will be used to obtain the capillary pressure curves, and after that, the samples will be submitted to the aging process. The procedure workflow will be followed, followed by, for the 12 samples available. I would like to thank for Unicam, Pequenorf, APESP, NMP, and also Cepetro for the opportunity to work in this project. Thank you for your attention, and uh, I will be glad to receive your questions or suggestions by email.